writing my book, Grains of Sand, The Fall of Neve de Kalim, when I was 18 years old. I was in 12th grade at the time in the religious girls high school in Neve de Kalim. And it was April 2005. And the situation around me was so absurd that I just said to myself one day, Shifra, if you do not write this down later on, you will never believe that it really happened like this. Mortars were falling around us, bombs were exploding, the Arabs were attacking us however they could, and our Jewish government wanted to throw us from our houses. And we didn't know what would happen that summer. We didn't know if come summer we would still be in our houses or we would be who knows where. And so I started writing my book. I decided how many characters I want to have in my book, which scenes I definitely want to include in my book. I knew for sure that I wanted to give a whole aspect of Gush Katif, not just of all the Arab terror, but starting beforehand, of the wonderful, peaceful days of Gush Katif, the wonderful, vibrant community that it was. And so I started writing my book, and I didn't know yet what the end would be. I didn't know if we would still be there, and we would have a wonderful redemption feast, or whether it would all be destroyed. And looking around you, at the streets and the houses and all the community centers and synagogues and lampposts and the wonderful views, the beach and the sea, the sand. And you said to yourself, how on earth can all this be destroyed? How can all this be reduced to rubble? It seemed impossible. But I started writing my book and after summer 2005, after Ariel Sharon managed to implement his horrible disengagement plan, my family was here in the Nitsan Caravilla site, a site for Gush Katif Expelli. And at this point, I already knew what the end was. My house had been reduced to a pile of cement and red roof tiles. There was nothing tangible left of Gush Katif. All that was left was my memories and the memories of anyone who had lived in Gush Katif. And I wanted to make those memories accessible to the white public so that anyone, no matter where they were, no matter whether they had ever been in Israel or ever seen Gush Katif, would be able to pick up my book, Grains of Sand, The Fall of Neve de Kalim, and travel beyond time and beyond location into my Gush Katif, into how my community, what I knew of it, what my neighbors and friends knew of it. And so I finished writing my book when I was 19 years old, after it had all been destroyed, and I managed to get it published through Mazel Publishers. And that way my book has become accessible to everyone, no matter where they are. And Gush Katif was eternalized and still lives on.